right wing up. Don't move. Stay there now. Steady. Now, sit up. Get up. Sit up, you. Up, you fool. Up. Sit up, I said. Sit up. Safari by Cuddleford. We did have it, but we got rid of it some time ago. I want to tell you, gentlemen, I read that book. I had nightmares for nine months. How well do you remember that book? Why? You remember a map in it. A map in that book? Of course I remember it. Could you draw it? Could I draw it? For a thousand dollars? Draw that map in that book for a thousand dollars? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For a thousand dollars, I could draw that map in oil. Okay, then meet us in the alley tonight at 7.30. And we'll take you to somebody who'll give you a thousand dollars the minute you lay down the pencil. Is it a deal? Shake. <laughs> hey, pal. See you in the alley tonight at 7.30. Huh? And be there, chum. Get me? Thousand dollars to draw that map. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that book is out of print. In fact, we sold the last one some time ago. Oh, dear, I was afraid of that. I've been to every bookstore in the city. There's a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. Uh, will you give me that again, please? I said there was a map in that book that I'd give $2,500 for. $2,500? Uh, excuse me, I'll be right back. What are you doing? Hey, Buzz, this shall never bleed. There were two guys at the end of the... Look, I understand. Look, Stanley, how well do you remember that book you read about, uh, Doc Safari? That's what I'm trying to tell you. There was two guys in the Look, uh, you remember there was a map in it? You two. Uh, now, go away, go away, go away. What are you doing there? I'm drawing that map now. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Oh, you can't. Buzz, don't tear that up. i got a chance to make it... Wait, wait, quiet. Come on, follow me. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Take it easy, take it easy. Come on, Madam, you are the luckiest person in New York this morning. Allow me to introduce Stanley Livington. One of the world's greatest wild game hunters. Oh, how exciting. Oh. Wild game hunters are my weakness. This is really a thrill, Mr. Livington. So nice meeting you, too, but I'm really not... Uh, it might interest you to know that, uh, when Mr. Cuddleford wrote Doc Safari, Mr. Livington was right there. Oh! Wonderful. Then, you must be very familiar with the map that is in that book. The map? Yes. Oh, sure. That's one map I could draw in a dark room, even without a pencil. You see, your troubles were all over. Uh, I could make arrangements to bring him over to your home this evening. Oh, no. marvelous. No. I think it's a wonderful idea. No. My name is Emerson, Diana Emerson. How do you do, Miss Emerson? No, I got a date in the alley. She'll have to wait. She'll have to wait. Here's oh. my address. Uh, see you tonight, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's the kind of girl I dream about. But you should see the ones I get. <whistles> I tell you, boss, the guy said he knew the map backwards. So we make a date to meet him, bring him in, have him draw it. 
Yeah, and the little muslin never shows up after us offering him a grand. Well, you can relax. I found somebody myself this morning. You did, boss? Where? The Clopper's department store. That's where we found our guy. Wait a minute. Was he a silly-looking little fat guy? That's him. Why, that two-timer. You offer him a thousand and he holds out for a higher price. The minute he puts his foot through the door, I break every bone in his head. You do no such thing. When he leaves, you boys can meet him outside and get my money back. We get you, boss. Now go out the side entrance. I'm closing a deal with the man who's going to lead the safari. Won't you come in, Mr. Beattie? This is the place. Now, don't forget, she thinks you're a big game hunter. Buzz, why do you keep getting me in the middle? I wish you hadn't. Why, you ingrate. Here, I'm giving you a chance to make me $2,500. Is that the way you want to repay me for all the things I could have done for you? Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Stanley, will you come on? I'm shutting off the water. Well, turn it off and come on. I stopped it. Good. Come on up here. May I see you a minute, please? Now, now what's the matter? My finger's stuck. Well, leave it there and come on. Okay. What's the matter? Well, let me see this. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Oh, that one. Wait a minute. Harry, did you answer the door? No. Do I have to? Answer the door. Oh, all right. Do everything around me here. Get this. In the office. Tight. I gotta be a cook and a butler. One of these days, I'll just... Well, so I'll just do it. Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington to see Miss Emerson. Well, come in. Well, who is knocking? Well, come in. Miss Emerson is busy for the moment. Will you step in the living room, please? Pats. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I can't get it off. Help me get it off. Well, you get your hand. Well, not so hard. You put your hand on it. Pull it off. Get your hand out of the way now. Get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Get your hand out of the way. Well, get your hand out of the way. I get it off. Naturally, I haven't publicized the expedition because I could easily become the victim of unscrupulous people. Yet that map's one of the few in existence. The owner would practically have you in the palm of his hand. This man coming tonight is the gullible type, but fairly intelligent. If he can remember the map accurately, we'll proceed at once. That'll be fine with me, Miss Emerson. And now regarding your fee. Suppose we say 5,000 in advance and 15,000 on completion. That's very liberal. On the contrary, money is no object, as long as I get what I'm after. Come on, will you? Ah, <laughs> that is so not that hand, this one. Well, put this hand in your pocket. <laughs> get your hand out of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's... Oh. Stanley, I just found out that map is worth more than $2,500, that woman. I can't get over it. All I did was go like this, no order came out. Are you listening? Come on. Come on! Now, you go in the living room and wait. I'm going to snoop around here and find out more about this deal. Go ahead. Mr. Livington and Mr. Johnson. Good. Where are they? They're in the living room. I'll see them in a minute, and we'll have coffee in the library. Harry, I'm phoning Gunner to come over. Please leave the door open. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. 
I don't know what anybody in the room. I'm awfully sorry. Say, hold it. Write what you want. You know, you standing in front of this here picture reminds me of my last expedition in Africa. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. And it was my most dangerous expedition. We were after cats. Big cats. You know what cats are? Lines, I imagine. Oh, there's no imagine about it, my friend. Lines are lines. Here or any place, they're lines. You can't imagine they're lines. Oh, no, indeedy. I want to tell you something. My first afternoon out, I bagged 64 lines. Gad, what a hunt. Really? Oh, yes. And then I ran into an old friend of mine, Clyde Beatty. No. Yeah. And was he irked? He didn't bag a line for two weeks. Really? <laughs> Of course, when it comes to handling lines, he don't know from nothing. I am the boy right over here. <laughs> I want to tell you something else, too, between you and I. Clyde Beatty is a phony. On the side, a pretty nice fella, but between you and I, a phony. <laughs> something else I want to tell you, friend. Who do you think tames the lines that he has inside the cages? Me, Stanley Livington, the world's greatest hunter. No kidding. Yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Clyde, it's nice knowing you. I want you to stick around because I'm going to tell you how I used to go in myself and tame those lions. Now, when it comes to taming the animals, Clyde. Clyde! Clyde! <laughs> I see you've met Mr. Livington, our big uh, wild game hunter, eh? Yes, indeed. Swell. He just didn't tell me about some of his exploits. Oh, oh. swell, swell, that's fine. Uh, tell him about the time you and Clyde Beatty went tiger hunting in India. That's yes, the... I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, yes, indeed. Why, he, uh, Stanley tells me that he outshot Beatty five to one. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to this gentleman. Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Uh, Clyde, 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 Clyde Beatty. Uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh, Mr. Beatty, I'm sorry for what I said about Mr. Beatty. Excuse me. Well, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington, please forgive me for keeping you waiting. You met Mr. Beatty? It seems Mr. Livington and our old hunting pals. Won't you gentlemen have some coffee? And after coffee, we'll have Mr. Livington draw the map. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Livington will not be able to draw the map. But he's got to. The whole success of my trip depends on it. You mean you intend to take a trip to Africa? Very definitely. I'm planning a safari. I wonder if I may be excused. I know you folks would rather talk business in private. If you don't mind, I think it would be better. Mr. Beatty's half, Harry. Excuse me, gentlemen. Good night, old friend. Quick, grapple and boots are outside waiting to slug Johnson and Livington. Tell them the plans are changed and to lay off. Yes, ma'am. Look, Buzz. Let me draw the map. We'll get the $2,500 and get out of here. Uh, certainly not. Now, if I play your cards right, we'll get more than $2,500. Uh, listen, you you heard her. She's organizing a safari. I wish I was there. Uh, where? On a Hoboken safari right, right now. Uh, 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 Stanley, you're um, you're absolutely right. Uh, as you surmised, and to be frank with you, I don't blame you for having the desire. Desire to what? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have to explain everything explain to the lady. Explain it to me. Uh, uh, Mr. Livington insists on uh, journeying a safari to Africa. I insist? There you are. You heard oh, it from his own lips. Just, uh, hello. Just a uh, bit. How do you do? Uh, I you see, with Mr. Livington in Africa, uh, he'd feel right at home and it'd be very simple for him to draw the map without any difficulties. I think it's an excellent idea. Silly. Once we're there, he can lead us to the East Fork of the Tarabongo and Okavangi River. Lead you to the fork? Yes, uh, Shelley, of course, it'll be the regular $5,000 fee in advance and uh, $15,000 on completion. Of course, that includes my services. What? Uh, splendid. That's uh, fine. And for your safety, I'm going to assign you my best follow-upper. Uh, follow-upper? Yes, he's the man who follows you in the jungle. And if you miss a shot of a charging animal, he shoots and saves your life. Oh, that's him now. Excuse me. Miss Shelley. Hey, listen, Buzz. Oh. I'm not going to go over to you. You've got no right to put me in a thing like that. Oh, what's kind of money? You're always putting me don't right in the middle of it. I don't care what kind of money. Don't you give me that. No, listen, you've got to no. put me over there with no arguments. I'm not going to go over there with all those lines. I tell you. I'm going to start going the other way. I'm not going to go over there. No, no, I'm not. I won't. Gunner, I'd like to have you meet Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington. Gunner Jensen. Hi. Uh, I don't want to seem inquisitive, but, uh, 
Just what are we going to Africa for? Well, we're going after an orangutan gargantua. Orangutan gargantua? Excuse me, please. Uh, pardon? Yes, you. So what's orangutan gargantua? Uh, it's a big ape. Oh, a big ape. Yeah, stop worrying. Me? Pardon? Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Big ape? Yeah. You mean like the thing I see in a circus, like the father to the monkey? Yeah, yeah it's only bigger. Bigger. Ping! And he's going to protect me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, show them how you can shoot the Winchester. You missed the lion. I raised the gun to my shoulder. Look through the peep sight, mate. I looked through the peep sight, put my finger on the trigger, grabbed for the post light, and I... I... <laughs> no pump slide. Stanley. Stanley. Now where did he go? Stanley!
Miss Emerson, and in the morning, we'll start for the interior. Very good. Well, we've looked the whole place over. You want to know something, boss? This don't look like a place to find diamonds. <laughs> Don't you ever mention the word diamonds. We're supposed to be after an orangutan. And another thing, boss. I'm getting awfully sick of these two guys you're depending on. They're always fouling us up. Just be patient. It won't be long now before the map is in my hands. Stanley! Drop everything! Huh? Drop everything! Come here, Stanley. Get out! Get out from under there. Hurry up! Come on, Stanley. Oh, boss, oh. just when I had the tent off. Never mind the tent. Come over here and draw that map. The map? The map. If I draw, will you let me go home? Why do you want to go home? I forgot something. What did you forget? I forgot to say that. Hey, draw the map. Come on. Boy, oh, boy, can you picture me a tycoon? Oh, oh, oh. Building, yachts, railroads. I don't know. I might even buy an airline. Pardon how I feel. Boy, winters in Maine, summers in Florida. Oh, it's unbelievable. Get him. He can even get his laundry out. Have you got it ready yet? Come on. You got it? Hello, boy. Oh, this paper here is worth a million dollars. A million dollars? Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought I did it. Give me something. I gotta have something for it. Oh, sure, sure. I intended to. Here. Here. Here's a nickel. Thank you. Hello, boy. Oh, a nickel. Hello, Diana. Harrison tea for Mr. Johnson. And plenty of sugar. Wonderful day we're having. You're looking marvelous yourself. You're in fine spirits. I have all the reasons in the world to be. I finally persuaded Stanley to draw the map. Oh, well, may I see it? Uh, I also made some very interesting discoveries. Uh, aside from the orangutan, there are far more uh, important things to be found in that particular territory. Really? Yes, and due to the facts, I personally think I'm entitled to a new deal. Well, what kind of a deal did you have in mind? Well, I'd say 20% uh, of the safari's profits would be fair. Very liberal. In view of your generosity, may I see the map? Oh, yes, surely, surely, surely. Now, uh, this map will take you right to, uh... Um, uh, there seems to be something lacking here. Uh, I'll see Stanley. There's some detail work. That, uh, he's, he hasn't really uh, completed the map. I'll be right back. Here's your tea, and I put plenty of sugar in it. Uh, drink it yourself. Oh, drink it yourself. Drink it yourself. Harry, I want to see Boots and Grappler immediately. Ooh. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why, exactly, can Now, what's the matter with you? Thought you were putting something over on me. This is not the map that was in Cuddleford's book. Oh, yes, it is. This, this thing tells you how to get the Clopper's department store. Well, that's the map. I used to keep that map in Cuddleford's book. Listen, you nitwitted numbskull. These people want a map of the Bangy Territory. The Bangy Territory? Bangy Territory? Yes. I was wondering why they want to pay all that kind of money just to find the directions how I get the Clopper's department store. Do that you, I couldn't understand. Just a minute. Do you realize we're in the most dangerous spot we've ever been in our lives? Dangerous spot? Dangerous spot. Buzz, what? Is it worse than the time when Skinny Marink knocked the chip off my shoulder? Ah, uh, certainly. Worse than that? I should say it is. And the time I drew the line like that? Far more. Yeah, but that time he came over the line. It's worse than that? Never mind that. It's worse than that. Oh, are we in trouble? Wait a minute. Oh. We've got to do something. I have it. We've got to get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. What you doing, boy? Going somewhere, fellas? We were just going to take these little trunks inside the tent. Get moving. Hey. Go ahead. Knock the chip off my shoulder. Not that. Your head's liable to go with it. Oh. Go on, get moving. Now I'm getting sick and tired of getting pushed around by you guys. Did you hear me? I'm getting sick and tired of it. Hey, come on back. Come on back. Bring me a way out here in the heart of the jungle. 
Why? Because you told me that you could draw the map. You can draw her, can you? You know you couldn't. Why'd you bring me away out here? Now what am I going to do? What am I going to do with the boats I was going to buy and the buildings I was going to buy, the railroads I was going to buy? Put that down. That's a fine how do you do. Nice goings on from a pal, from a friend. I never, I never expected it from you. I'll have to go into bankruptcy, that's all. That's all that's left for me to do. And what'll my friend say? The thing that you, my bosom friend, look, what are you doing with the water? Oh, my tank's on fire! Well, what have you got to say for yourself? stopping here for it's early yet. Well, this is where Cuddleford stopped. Now, uh, on the bottom of page 389, according to Cuddleford, he wrote that he had a very uneventful day. Therefore, he made camp on the bank of the Crocodile River. Now, over there is the Crocodile River. Uh-uh. Over here. <laughs> uh, you'll have to forgive him. You see, Stanley is actually living the book. That's not all. That night, Cuddleford, he posted a double guard because he was nearing the Bangy country, which was full of ferocious animals and cannibals. Stanley's right. This is pretty dangerous territory. I suggest we pitch camp on this side tonight. But that means we'll lose an entire half day. Well, if you cross over, you're going to lose two days anyway. Why? Well, according to Cuddleford, when he crossed the river, he was brought down by jungle fever. And he was that way for 36 hours. Miss Emerson, I think we should look for a location to pitch camp. All right, Mr. B. Stanley, come in. You'd rather use a little more tech when you talk to Miss Emerson. You know, she's liable to send us back to the States. Good, good. Good. What's the matter? Oh, my goodness. Are you worrying about that? That's just a little baby lion. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll get a hold of him. <laughs> Pause, don't. Pause. Don't. Yeah. You remember what happened in Coppice Department Store? Don't do it. Now, don't get excited. Don't this little cat was raised on milk. So was I, but I ain't meat now. Yeah, Take it away. Go, go, ahead, go back it. to his mother. Huh? Touch it. Now, go ahead. Touch, touch it. it. There you are. Right. <laughs> you see? You, there you are. There you are. <laughs> go ahead. Now, go ahead. There he is. Look how kitty runs. Hey. I got my finger back. What do you I mean you got your finger? You touched I, him, didn't you? I touched a real lion. That's all there is to it. A, a real lion. I... Brave, too. I... Well, that's it. Just like that. That'll take that fear out of you. I'm gonna capture that little baby lion and I'm gonna bring it back to Diana. Hey, wait a minute. That's a good idea. That'll put us in good with her. Yeah. Go ahead, kid. I'll see you at camp. Da -da 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 -da.
We better go over and check on that trap. Almost human. Matter of fact, I've got traps all around me, except for them. Mm -hmm. Hey, Buck! Uh, Mr. Buck, I, I wonder if you'd help me find my camp. Why, I'd be very glad to. Trap! Trap! Oh, by human being. Thank <laughs> you. 
you're so nervous. Don't play with it, eat it. What's the matter with you? Huh? He must be tired. What's the matter? You see this thing over there? Certainly not. Then I got jungle fever. I'd better get him back to our camp. I think you better, too. Now, just follow the trail exactly as I told you, yeah. and you won't miss it. And so look well. out for my traps. Oh, wait, I think you better take a gun along with you. Well, George, I think we can use one. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Right. So long, Mr. Buck. So long. So long, my boy. Come on, come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. What a business for a guy to be in. Crocodiles and lions bring a lot of dough back in the States. You can have it. Okay, boys, you're finished. Let's go back to the compound. Well, boys, after this swim, I'll feel like a diamond in a rough. Yeah. Diamond. That's right. Stanley, I think Diane is trying to put something over on us. Doesn't it seem funny to you that as soon as Clyde Beatty goes out to bag lions, she lets us come down here to take a swim in the river? Oh, tush, tush. Now, never mind the tush type. I can use it, I can use it. Just a minute. We may be in the uh, diamond territory. Maybe she knows where the diamonds are. Buzz. Maybe she has the diamonds. Buzz, you gotta take it easy. You need more sleep nights, kid. I now, forget about know. diamonds. I'm a little worried. Don't get worried. Hold on. I know. Come on. Let's go in and take a bath. A bathe or something, and swim nicely. All right, put it down, put it down. Come on, let's go. Well? The last one in there's a whole lane. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to dive in. In there? Of course in there. I ain't going to dive in over there. I hurt your head over there. Uh, did you read this sign? What? Do you know what that sign says? Who's walking on the grass? Hey, wait a minute. You can't dive in there. There's nothing but crocodiles in there. Oh. Uh, what? Crocodiles. Well, don't get excited, don't get excited. You see over here, there's nothing but nets. A, a dive inside the net. Yeah, the crocodiles can't get in the nets. That's good. That's well. Go ahead, right in, enjoy yourself. Okay. Can you make it? Oh, come on, that's warm. It's cute. Sure. That a boy. Whoa, boy. Where you going? What a belly flop. Hey, Buzz. Right. Watch my impersonations. Oh, you, you yeah. do impersonations? Yeah. yeah. Watch, my first one. A seal. A seal. Here I go. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? All right. Hey, that's my animal. What's this? A whale. A whale. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a whale. Yeah, hey, what's this one? Bless that. An alligator. Look, I want to go in there, too, you know. Well, when I do the alligator? Well, let me go. Here I go. why he has to try those cats out before he sends them back to the States. It worries me. Doesn't worry me half as much as those two knotheads you brought along with us. Relax. Yep. 
was. Please don't make me do this. You're going to do it. I don't want to. You're making a coward out of me. No, I'm not making a coward the out of you. The gossip that's going around this camp. Stanley's a coward. Stanley's a coward. Afraid of a little teeny-weeny alligator like that. A big alligator. Oh, stop it. Are you afraid of that? I think so. Oh, stop. It's only a skin. Feel it, feel it. Don't be afraid of it. Now, look. I'm going to make a hero out of you, whether you like it or not. I'm going down that path. You know where the water bag is? Yeah. You meet me there. I'll be in this skin. Uh-huh. And make sure you bring Diana with you. Oh, you want me to get Diana and bring her over by the path by the water bag? Oh, dog on her. Think and then you're going to have the line skin on and then... <laughs> That's it. Uh-huh. Just act like Clyde Beatty. Okay, Buzz. Atta boy. I'm going over to have a chit-chat with Diana. Yeah, no. I'm going to show her I'm a pretty brave kid, and I don't like this kind of talk going around. Why are you talking? Don't forget about the path by the water bag. I'll be there. Well, boys, in a little while we can say goodbye to Mr. Beatty and his lions and crocodiles and cages. Tag this one for shipment back to the States. He's a good one. And get the other three ready for the training cage. I'll be back later then to work them out. <laughs> Diane? Yes, Danny. I would like to have a chit-chat with you, if you don't mind. Of course. Excuse us, fellas. Now, uh, a few things I want to get straightened out. I, uh... Yeah? Let's tell you over here. Diana? There's some talk going around this camp, and I don't like it. I don't like it no-how. And I'm getting plenty peeved about it. And I have a right to have a drink. People are going around saying that I'm afraid of lions. Well, that's not true. That's a lie. I'm one of the finest big game hunters in the world. No one surpasses Stanley Livington. Do you think the lions that Clyde Beatty catches are big ones? <laughs> They're nothing but kittens. A little bit of kittens. Why, I want to tell you something. I'm going on a big game hunt myself. I'm going to catch a lion just for you to show you how big I can catch him. <laughs> you afraid of lions? No. Good. Take a look. <laughs> Stanley. Stanley, what's the matter with you? She scared me. Oh, never mind. Listen, I'm going into the cage. And you behave yourself. You can't understand why he gets so scared. I gotta tell you, you walked in the cage like a real lion. You even hopped around like a real lion. You wanna know something else? You even smell like a real lion. And that's the part I don't understand. Stop breathing down my neck, too. I don't like that. How do you do? Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Hey, 
You come off a close. Now cut it out or I'll hear right in the push with a chair. I'm not afraid of nothing. What do you do? I'm a pretty brave kid. I don't care about kittens. I don't care how big the kittens are. How we doing, boys? Hey, Buzz, get those nails filed. They hurt. Serves you right. I've seen enough. Stanley! 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 Come out of there! <laughs> hey, Buzz, did we fool them? <laughs> I wish you could have got the look on their faces when they saw you in here. <laughs> then come out. I can't. I locked the door over here. Well, throw the key out. I threw the key out long ago. Uh, where? Over there. Uh, <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey, enough is enough. Now go away before you queer it. What are you talking about? <laughs> they don't know you're inside the lion's skin. I'll look for the key. Everything's all right. You got nothing to worry about. S Stanley. Stanley. Oh, no. No. Oh. Stanley. Stanley. Wait, what'd you do with my buddy? It's all my fault. I should have never let him do it. My bosom pal. Why is this cat in here? And who locked this gate? All right, let the rest of them in.
comes in.
mess you got us into. All on account of your lust for money. Me? Oh, Buzz. Now I know what they mean when they say, boy, are you in hot water. Never thought it was gonna be anything like this, though. No excuses. I did nothing of the kind. You untied yourself. I did not. Well, then untie me. Come on. Are you kidding? Un no, he ain't. Come on, hurry up. Take these down. Get them off. Get these off. Hurry up. You know, Diana, I never did go for that talk of yours about a 20-foot monkey. Really? Yeah. And uh, as for bringing Clyde Beatty out here to capture wild animals, you didn't fool me for a minute. Well, just why did I come to Africa, Mr. Johnson? Diamonds. And I know just where they are. And you can lead us to these diamonds? That I can, but first we'll talk business. You and I will cut this pie right down the center. Isn't that wrong? Now, no bickering. Take it or leave it. I don't seem to have any alternative. That you have. So, when you make up your mind, just give Buzz a buzz, huh? Hey, yeah, big boy, hold on to that. Boss, about splitting that pie down the center. I'll handle this my own way. Get ready to break up camp while I give Mr. Beatty his walking papers. Hey, boy. Boy, come here. Uh, gather up my belongings that are scattered around here. I might be moving to better quarters. Uh, by the way, leave these things right here in case that uh, little fat boy, you know, little fat boy? Eh? If he does show up, this is good enough for him. Go. Hey, pick you tell me by your son, huh? Chief wants to see head man. Yes, sir. So I've decided there's no such thing as an orangutan gargantua. And now that we have enough animals to have made the expedition worthwhile, I suggest that you and your men prepare to leave for the coast. That's all right with me, Miss Emerson. I'll go and tell my men. All right, Mr. Beatty. Miss Emerson, Miss Emerson, there's some fellows out there who want to see you. They want to hold a conference. I think you'd better hurry. All right, Harry. Chief, what call? We'll talk in the house. Chief say, many white men come to land the bankers for diamonds. Many white men die. Why does the chief want to see me? Chief want to be your friend. Chief want to make deal. Want to trade these diamonds. 
What does the chief want for the diamond? Chief have sweet tooth for little fat man. Him? Oh, no. Oh, not him. Little fat man. Strong, strong. Little fat man. Friend of tall, thin man. Oh, Stanley. Tell the chief he's made a deal. Jack Alphon. Mm. Chief say, deal good. Excellent. She's going to sell him on the hoof. Gunner! Gunner! Who is it? It's me, Buzz. Have you seen Stanley? Well, if you see him, tell him to hide until he sees me. If I see him, I'll tell him. Yeah. But so far, I haven't even seen Africa. How is it? Oh, old Gunner. I'll tell him later. Diana, there's something I want to tell you. We're in very dangerous territory. Last night, Buzz and I were captured by the cannibals. Man-eating cannibals. And you know what they did? They tied us up to the stakes. And one guy looked at me and he went mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like this. And I know that was for no good. And I want to tell you something else. I escaped. And then I untied Buzz and he escaped. And there they were, all these cannibals. And I was starting to fight them. And I hit one with the right. And another one with the right. I hit one with a fancy uppercut. I went like this. Boom! And I, and I hit another one with the right. And, I, and then I, I kept having... One guy looked just like him. He had a hat on like that, too. And this guy that had a hat on like this, I hit him such a belt. I went, whop! <laughs> right on the side of the head over here, I hit the guy. Oh, he's got the bump. There it is. <laughs> Stanley? Stanley, what am I going to do? My diamonds, my diamonds. That's what they're after, my diamonds. Oh, no, they can't take my diamonds from me. They'd ruin all my dreams. What would happen to my boats, my buildings? Give me, give me my diamonds. I know what I'll do. I'll bury them. I'll hide them. They'll never find them. I can always come back and get them, Stanley. Here, here's a good place right here. And then I finished setting the traps, Mr. Buck. Said they'd be carrying a pretty rough cover. Well, I hope we bag some big ones here. More! The cage! Come on! Get me out of here! Someone get me out of here! All right, all right, all right. Come on, Reza, get her out of there. Have you seen a short, fat man and a tall, thin man running through the jungle? No, and I don't want to either. Now I'll never catch up with them. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I've got to find them. You're not going to run around this jungle alone. You stay right here with me. <laughs> Stanley, 
Stanley, I'm going back for the diamonds. You keep running. How can I keep running? You got a hold of me. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Not me, him. I'll go get help. Well, you're such a nuisance. Don't give me no trouble, Stanley. I shoot and shoot to kill. I know you do, Gunner. I won't give you any trouble. You, you won't even know I'm here. Don't press in so hard. Oh, oh, scared, eh? Look at your face. It's getting greener and greener, inch by inch. And you're getting spots on your kisser. Stanley, don't force me to pull this trigger. I got on the chief finger. Ah, oh, here it is. My diamonds. Where are my diamonds? I put them here. My diamonds. Who's that? Is that you, Harry? It's me, Harry. He's scared stiff. He didn't budge an inch. He didn't? Did oh, you find Boots and Packman? No, I didn't. I'll tell you what you do. Keep Stanley covered. I got him. Keep him covered. Got him? We'll bring him back to camp. Okay. He's, he's, he's a pretty dangerous kid, this Stanley. You did a good job there, kid. Oh, not Let's a squawk out of him. Keep walking. Hands high, keep walking. It's time. It's got to be around here someplace. Yeah, that's the mark. Why should this happen to me? I, I planted him right here. Me, who's been so good to his friends. They've got to be here. They must be here. My diamonds are on Keep walking. Keep walking. How did you ever get into this mess? I don't understand. Go on. Keep going. Hey, uh, keep going. I got my eye on you. What are you trying to do? Make a monkey out of me? I see you. Look, I told you to lay off of me. I didn't trip you and I didn't kick you. So now leave me alone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'll leave you alone. Look, I'll hit you harder than Lewis ever did. Oh, yeah? Yeah.
Oh, I can't understand it. I had an empire in the palm of my hand. It just slipped through my fingers. I can't understand it. I can't understand it. Good morning, Mr. Levington. Polish every one of the letters. They're important, you know. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Levington. Good morning, Tallulah. Have you my paper? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, well, you owe me about 22 cents. See you at two. Yes, sir. Don't forget. Can't understand it. Sunday driver. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, Mr. Livington, what about that raise I've been asking you about? I'll talk to my partner. If he's in. Thank you, sir. 